So in about three weeks, I'm going to be climbing Ben Nevis. And this is a mountain in Scotland. I've I tried to climb it once before in the winter. And for those of you who don't know, you're not meant to climb Ben Nevis in the winter. It's full of ice and snow and rain. It's very cold, very windy, very dangerous. Anyway, I didn't know that, so I tried to climb it. Got about halfway and then was just completely soaked. I had trackies on, I didn't have waterproof gear, my trainers were soaked. I was, I was in a bad place, I had to come back down, my knee was playing up, and I just hadn't prepared for how big the mountain was and what I would need to do. But I'm going back. I'm gonna be climbing it from top to bottom in the summer, which is sort of its own challenge in a way because it's, although it's not cold and you're not gonna get as wet because it shouldn't be raining, it's gonna be hot and you know, you're gonna to have to deal with the sun and the dehydration issues as well. So I probably need to bring more water and maybe sun cream and all that sort of stuff that just makes it more challenging to do. So I think it's difficult either way, but this time I have to go back because, because last time I didn't go all the way up and ever since, ever since then, since coming back from that trip, I've always thought that I should go back and finish what I started. And I've always been this way. If, if there's something I can't do, I always try and go back to it and try again and you know, give it one more go. It's the same thing with climbing. If I, if I go to the climbing wall and I can't do a particular route, even if it's gonna tire me out for that day, I'll always try and finish that route or at least you know, keep pushing and keep trying until I know I can't do it without more practice. Now for Ben Nevis, it's not actually that difficult of a climb. I mean, it's high, it's a mountain, but it's not as high as other mountains that you know, lots of people climb regularly. But that being said, I still need to get in shape for it. I need to work on my cardio, stamina, endurance, that sort of thing, because usually I just train strength training and, and that's it. Uh, but for this, it's a bit different. It's all, about, it's all about pacing yourself and actually using your stamina to get yourself up the mountain and then back down again. Um, the route I'm actually gonna be going is not the usual route where you go up on a chairlift, I believe, and then you start from sort of halfway. I'm gonna be starting from the very bottom going up about an hour or so of hard rocky stairs and then I'll be at the middle and then I'll carry on. So it's gonna be a challenge, it's gonna be difficult, but I wouldn't do it and hopefully I'll be able to um, hopefully I'll be able to fly the drone at the top. If it's not too windy, probably it probably will be too windy. Uh, but at the very least I can get some good footage and I can say that I finally climbed by nervous. So so that's what's going on with, with that. That's what I'm preparing for. Can you hear that noise? I'm seeing, I'm, I'm reviewing these sleep headphones on my other channel. Anyway, I'm seeing how long the battery's gonna last because I've heard you can get eight to 10 hours, so I'm timing it. I started this at one o'clock and I'm gonna see how long the battery lasts, because the battery's tiny on those things. All these lovely batteries charged up and I'm gonna be trying to do some challenges today around the house with this bad boy. Red Paws RO11, I'll link in the description. This is great if you're a beginner and you wanna learn how to fly FPV with the goggles like that. Day 44 now guys. There's the drone that cut my neck yesterday. Ah! Look at all these lovely vegetables. Kale. So I guess you could say I like having lentils and beans in pretty much everything I eat. That is today's video. I'm excited about Ben Nevis. I need to train for it and now I'm gonna fly my drone. And we're back into the daily videos despite having a couple of days off because of my neck, which is still a bit better. But you know, at the end of the day, my neck still hurts. I've just got to remember that when I fly these things, I can't keep leaning in the direction of where they're gonna fly. Anyway, that's it for now, guys, done.